Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Carla. Teacher. Good evening, Gloria. Good evening, Kenya. Good evening, Karen. Good evening, Mirna. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hello, Karen. Are, are you in Paris? Are you in Paris, Karen? <laughs> She's in Paris. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Jose. Thank you for joining us today, tonight. Uh, they were just ladies and me. That was weird. <laughs> okay, guys. So. That all my brothers. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, my man. Sorry. <laughs> you know me? That sorry, that sorry sounds like French. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> It sounds French. <laughs> okay, so let, let's go. Let's start, guys. Um, we have a lot to talk about. So I want to start asking. I want to start asking, did you study? Did you study? A little bit. A little bit, Gloria? Okay. Karen is saying yes. 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 Okay. Kenya, I, I cannot see Kenya. I can't see Kenya. I don't see Kenya. I don't see Carla. I don't know who's Gloria. Eric, welcome. And Ulises. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Doing great. Maria, welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, guys. So let's start. Uh, we will continue covering the simple past topic. So I hope you started. Uh, what were you supposed to study? What were you supposed to study? Well, the simple past. Okay, the simple past. Uh, that's all that you were supposed to study. So we're going to start reviewing the last video, the last video on the platform regarding the simple past. And then we will break it down. We will break it down little by little, okay? the subject, the verb, okay, the complement, and we will play, we will play something, okay? So we can all be on the same page. Let's pay attention to the video again. I'm gonna put everybody on mute. One, two, three, let's go. Class, questions and answers will be introduced. Your regular and regular verbs will also be taught. Welcome back. So now it's time to study past tense. For us to succeed learning it, we need to learn verbs in simple past. We'll teach you how to make questions and how to answer in both affirmative and negative form. Please pay attention. Simple past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Let's talk about questions in simple past. Did you realize the auxiliary we used? Did. We use auxiliary did for questions and short answers, positive and negative. Did you realize what happened to the question after we used did? See the next example. Did you go to the beach? Did he break the window? In each question, the verb is used in simple present because we use did. It is not correct to say, did you went to the beach? Did he broke the window? So remember, Every time you ask a question in simple past, you need to use the auxiliary did and the main verb goes back to present. For short answers in affirmative and negative in simple past, we must use did within the answer as we saw on the chart. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. This takes us to say that we use verbs in simple past when we say affirmative sentences. Take a look at the following statements. They went to the park last weekend. I woke up late this morning. She came late to class. Okay. So I hope you 
put attention. You were paying attention. So let's go ahead and talk about this for a second. Okay, so now we have the same chart with the structure. So last time I said it, listen, last time I said it in Spanish. So now we go with English. Do we all agree? Do we all agree? No? Okay, so let's look at the structure, okay? And I will go one by one with you. So let's see, Karen. Help me, and I need your help. I need your help. What is the structure for an affirmative sentence? What is the structure for an affirmative sentence? So let's say positive, a positive sentence. Yes, yeah. In pre present, present. Mm -hmm. What is the first element that you need? Look at look at this example. You have I, I work. I work all day. day. Okay. I work all day. Mm -hmm. Okay. You have I worked all day. I worked. Work. I worked. Worked all day. All day. Yes. So, what is the structure? You have a subject. Verb. Verb. Okay, verb in past, right? Okay, and the complement. Easy. Easy, very simple, thank you. Okay, let's go with Gloria. Thank you, Karen. Yes. Thank you, Karen. Um, Gloria, sorry. What is the um, structure for a negative sentence? First, the subject. Okay. Um, auxiliary verb. Here you have. Yeah, you were right. In negative. Auxiliary, okay. In negative, negative. okay. Negative uh, verb base. Okay, the verb in base form. I like that. Base form. And, and the complement. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Karen. I mean, Gloria. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Kenya. Let's go, Kenya. Yes. What do you need for a question? A closed question. Did. Okay, I need did. Uh -huh. Plus subject. Subject, very good. The and the verb in the base form. And the verb in the base form. And complement. Then I need a complement. Okay. And, and the mark question. The question mark. Okay. <laughs> ah, question mark. Yeah, you need the question mark. Okay. One last question. So this was yes, no question. For a yes, no question, I need all of this. Make it smaller. Okay. And what about a WH question? Uh, let's go with someone else. Let me see who's after. Anya. Eric, Eric Quintanilla. How do you make an open question, a WH question. Una pregunta. Yes. Um, cincuenta cincuenta, pregunta al público o llamada. Did you... Oh, okay. No. Uh, so, listen, Eric, para hacer did, una pregunta, did. yes or no question, empezamos con did. Es una pregunta directa, una pregunta cerrada, a la cual, chicos, por cierto, según el video, 
Yo solo puedo responder. ¿Alguien que me ayude? Yes. 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 I did. Yes. yes. I subject. Did. Ok. Yes. Subject plus did. O si va a ser negativa, sería no. no. Subject, subject plus didn't. didn't. Uh, negativo. Maybe. Correcto. Maybe for WH question teacher, maybe we need but and who and after that is the actual. Correcto, correcto. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. So, so first you need a WH word. ¿Cuáles son las WH words? Ya la vimos, ¿verdad? What, why, where, when, why. Ahí yo también paso why, ok, who. Ok, bien. What, why, where, when, who. ¿Qué? ¿Quién? Ah, no, perdón. ¿Por qué? ¿Dónde? ¿Cuándo? ¿Quién? Ok. Yeah. Who's, which, how, uh, how, how often, how difficult. What time? Todas so esas son WH questions. Okay. Y luego, and then. Who you are? Take a look. Take a look at this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You just put yeah. the WH before a closed question. Pones la WH antes de una pregunta cerrada. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Pregunta cerrada solo, solo puedo decir sí o no. Una pregunta abierta busca más información, más específica la información que busca. Y te puedes extender más hablando. ¿Sí? Ok. So, creo que hasta ahí estamos claros todos. ¿Alguien tiene una pregunta? No. No questions. Ok. Bien. Mirna. Oh, wait. Carla. Carla Marcela. Yes, teacher. Ok. Give me a positive sentence example. Um, I ate, ate pizza. I ate pizza. I ate pizza. I ate pizza. Yo comí pizza. A veces no es necesario decir cuándo, ¿no? Podría ser yesterday or at the restaurant. Uh -huh. Very good. Oh, Excellent. last night. Or last night. Very good. So we're clear on that. Vamos a seguir la estructura paso a paso. Okay. Thank you, uh, Maria Guzman. Okay. Hey, Maria. Can you give me a negative example? I didn't work yesterday. Okay. I didn't. Contractuamos, ¿verdad? Puedo decir did not o didn't. Work yesterday, decía por ahí. Okay. Yes. Yesterday. Okay, I didn't work yesterday. So, tenemos positivo, negativo. Very good. Okay. Y ahora tenemos una question. Thank you very much. Let's see, let's go with Mirna. Mirna Lopez. Yes, teacher. Let's make a close question. Follow the example. How, how did you... Mm. How did you mm. vacation? Enjoy mm. vacation? Okay. Since this is a close question, it's a yes, no question. Ah, perdón. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Don't worry. So, the close question would be, did you... Enjoy your vacations. Oh, wait, I'm gonna leave it there, okay? Your vacations, okay? Did you enjoy your vacations? Okay, good. And what would be the answer? You can say, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Si me preguntan con you, voy a contestar con I. ¿Verdad? Okay, good. And last part, Jose, Jose Cabrero, help me. Uh, maybe, uh, where did you buy that uh, backpack? Where, okay. Leave it here. Did you 
Okay, by that backpack. Good. Question mark. Good, very good. So where did you buy that backpack? Okay. Hmm. Look at me. No, it is correct. Okay. So where did you buy that backpack? And that's a, an open question. How do you answer an open question? Yes, uh, uh, maybe you can say, I buy this backpack there in a, a store. Okay, Jose? I bought. I bought. Uh, I Excellent. Bought. Yeah, the past. I no. bought. Uh, you can say, I bought it. Listen, I bought it. Bought it. I bought it. Mm -hmm. At Metro Centro. Yeah, I bought it at Metro Centro. Simple as that. Or if it was negative, then you say a negative sentence, right? I didn't. I didn't buy it. Somebody. Somebody. Uh huh. Someone gave it to me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Simple. Questions. Do you have any questions? I have a question, teacher. Who's talking? Gloria. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, in the video you, se you sent us today. Oh, you... when, when I was cooking? Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. You uh, asked where are you ha are, what are you having for lunch today? Uh -huh. And I answered late. You replied eight. Yes, uh huh. Uh, and I have a doubt. I uh, uh, is it correct to say I was eating hot dog for lunch, or I ate hot dog? Por lunch. Sí, porque ambos, bueno, el primer ejemplo estaría diciendo yo estaba comiendo hot dogs en el almuerzo. Y en el otro ejemplo, yo comí hot dogs en el almuerzo. Entonces usaría pasado continuo en el primer ejemplo. Y en el segundo es lo que estamos viendo, el pasado simple. Yo comí. Mm, okay. No hemos visto el pasado continuo, ¿verdad? Then, past continuous is was and where. Was where plus the verb in ing. I was talking, Jose. Oh, okay. I was talking, Jose. Yeah. I was singing. I, I was I was getting married. Yeah. Okay. Questions? Okay. Esa es una parte aparte, un punto aparte. El uso del verbo to be en pasado simple. I was sad. ¿Se acuerdan del presente? El verbo to be en presente. I am happy. I'm you happy. You was angry a few hours ago. Ahí sería you were. You were angry. You were. Uh -huh. <laughs> sí. Was Porque sería why? para. <laughs> yeah. Was. I know that was it for one, one person and where to. Where, Perfect. For two. Singular. For, for, for that, I, I ask you why is where and not was. Okay, was is for singulars. Okay, I, he, she, it. Was. He, he was. Ah, solo she porque was, le dije was. you, ah. Solo porque uh -huh. le dije you, ah. Cambia Second, verba. second ah, okay. person, second person. You, we, they, where. Mi madre tiene 30 años de estar en Estados Unidos, 31 años, y aún, aún se hace bolas con eso del was y el where. O sea, allá, créanme lo dicho, eh, en Estados Unidos, eh, la gente, no, los americanos no respetan la gramática en realidad. O sea, muchos hacen eso y, y se dan a entender al final, ¿no? Así como nosotros hablamos mal en español. En español. Ok, good. Do you have any questions? Questions with the structure. Hable ahora o calle para siempre porque vamos a hacer un examen evaluado y el que se equivoque me va a dar 10 dólares. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh -huh. Questions, questions, questions. Come on. Yo tengo una pregunta. ¿Hay pregunta tonta? No. 
Tonto es. El que no pregunta. True. No tengan pena de preguntar, de hablar. Come on. Si no, nunca vamos a aprender. Yes. Eh, Break the ice, Carlos. It's okay. It's okay. If I say, for example, the, the last question. Oh, no, no. It's not question. It's positive question. For example, I did buy it at Metro Centro. I did buy it at buy. Metro Centro. Buy, ah, uh -huh. yes. O sea, usted me está preguntando, José, digo, Carlos, si puedo hacer esto, puedo obviar esto y decir, I did buy it at Metro Centro. Bien. En británico le diría que sí. ¿En serio? En británico ellos son perezosos, ¿sí? Y no traducen los verbos al pasado, los verbos irregulares, o los regulares incluso. Puede que en alguna película británica usted note esto. Número dos. Si yo estoy discutiendo con alguien y esa persona me dice, ¿vos compraste la mochila en Metrocentro? Es que vos la compraste. Y me está de necio que yo ahí la compré. Entonces yo le digo, no, no, me dice, tú no la compraste en Metrocentro. Fuiste al centro, déjate de cosas. La, no la compraste en Metrocentro. Y yo le digo, yo sí la compré en Metrocentro. Ahí es, I did buy it in, at Metrocentro. En americano se ocupa más así, Carlos como afirmación de algo, o sea, pero con esa, esa fuerza, ¿no? I did buy it. Okay. Teacher, teacher, I have, I have a question. Yeah. Teacher. Yes, so, Freudian. El, 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 hay para, o sea, el did, entonces, no se sale de lo negativo ni de la interrogativo. Es para esas dos opciones. Sí, lo vamos a entender así y lo vamos a aplicar así. Más adelante verán lo que estamos hablando con Carlos. ¿sí? Eh, cuando vean, por ejemplo, tag questions, cuando vean preguntas retóricas, ¿sí? eh, por ejemplo, van a entender este tipo de conversación que estamos hablando con Carlos. Cómo reafirmar algo que yo ya sé. Ok, porque uh -huh. yo, yo había escuchado que solo era para los... Los negativos y las interrogativas, pero con la plática que acaban de tener, quiere decir ¿Mm? que hay más opciones. Hay otra opción. Pero esto dejaría de ser un auxiliar. Mm. ¿Ves? Ahí ya hice. De paso. Ahí A ver, ¿quién me dice cuál es el negativo? What's the negative, Gloria? On that sentence. Um... No, I don't have idea. No? I didn't do. Excellent. José, creo, ¿no? I didn't yeah. do no. my homework. Ok. I didn't do my homework. Esto es un problema común que te va, te va a dar eh, cosas siempre, ¿no? ¿Cuál es el auxiliar? ¿Cuál es el verbo principal? Eh, la pregunta sería, did you do your homework? Or did I do my homework? Okay. Y siempre está bien que se pregunten estas cosas. Okay. Teacher, la, la pregunta más común cuando vemos estructura por primera vez es, teacher, ¿puedo hacer una pregunta negativa? Por supuesto que lo puedes hacer, pero ¿cómo se hace? Why didn't you do your homework? ¿Qué estaría preguntando, Gloria? ¿Por qué no hiciste tu tarea? Mm. ¿Yes? Y esa es una pregunta negativa. Mira, que serás, podría preguntar incluso, how, how did you do your homework? How did you do your homework? ¿Cómo hiciste tarea? ¿Ya? Mm -hmm. Suena confuso, pero mientras que tú identifiques y utilices esta parte siempre, no olvides que siempre hay un auxiliar pues no vas a tener ningún inconveniente, las cosas se van a hacer más fáciles. Y de nuevo te recomiendo, si tú vas a aplicar esto, eh, que es como la tarea, que, la dieta que yo les he recomendado que hagan, no es obligación, pero si quieres aprender, pues sería bueno, ¿no? Ok. So, do, hacer. Ok. 
Eso lo pongo en colores y me aseguro de que mi cerebro no se equivoque al estarlo haciendo. ¿Sí? Va a haber en rojo y eso se le va a quedar grabado. ¿Ok? Podría hasta resaltar el verbo principal que yo estoy aplicando en otro color. Por eso les decía, compre un, una, un lapicero con cuatro minas. ¿Sí? Ah, momento. Aquí sería verbo, no es... Auxiliar. Verbo, sí. Ajá. Ese, homework, el verbo. Ese es el verbo. Aquí el verbo, aquí el verbo, aquí el verbo. Auxiliar, auxiliar, auxiliar. Ok. Questions. Any other question? Yeah, teacher. Why sometimes the auxiliar do uh, gonna, uh, gonna go after? Didn't teacher. Hmm. ¿Por qué, ¿Por qué va el do después? ¿Por qué algo, porque a veces los auxiliares van al final. Y difficult that question. Uh, hmm. Eso creo que es lo que les estaba intentando explicar. Um, ¿Sí? No sé. Yeah. Ok, esta es una tag question, una pregunta retórica. Sí, súper rápido. Digo una negativa, yo niego algo de lo que estoy seguro que es negativo. Si ¿Sí? yo no hiciste la tarea, ¿verdad? ¿Ves? That Ese, is the meaning, did, that is the meaning, did you? Did you? Ese did you es verdad. O en okay, salvadoreño, okay. o en salvadoreño, vea. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. No iría en negativo ahí también, teacher. También se puede. Podría decir, you did your homework. Didn't you? Es decir, si la oración es positiva, la pregunta corta va a ver en negativo. Si la, si la oración es, eh, si la afirmación es negativa, la pregunta la tag question, la pregunta retórica sería en positivo. Eso lo veremos más adelante, no se claven, esto no va a ser evaluado aún. Uy, uh, the tag, tag, like graffiti, the tags. Tag. Questions. Tag questions. 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 Ok. Sorry. Good, it's ok. Ney, nunca digan sorry, por favor. Están aprendiendo. Por favor, equivóquense. Si ustedes no se equivocan, yo no tengo trabajo. ¿Ok? Thank you. You're welcome. It's true, it's true, es cierto. Ok, good. So, básicamente, esta estructura que hemos visto acá es lo que hemos visto en el video, ¿sí? Eh, voy a tomar un screenshot. Igual, esto está en el video que estamos grabando. Ok, so, let's continue. Um, no more questions? You sure? Emperatriz creo que se durmió y no le he escuchado. No? Okay. okay, guys, let's continue. So, moving on with the platform. Let's move on with the platform. We had a little, um, but before that, you know what? Before we do that, I'm going to show you a little game, okay? Okay, that's not working. Give me just one second. Okay, here we go. So, I will select one by one again. Voy a seleccionar uno por uno de nuevo, okay? So you can go. Take a look. Take a look at this. Okay? Si estudiaron los verbos en pasado, más de alguno va a poder acertar alguno, okay? So... Let's go with Ulises. By the way, time is running. Time is running. So let's start it again. Vamos a empezar de nuevo. Okay, tienen que decirme cuál es el pasado de cada verbo. Ready? Let's go with Ulises. Okay. One, two, three, Ulises, go. What is the past of wake? Wake is a walk. Excellent. Very good. Oh, okay, look at that. Oh. Okay, we removed a lot. 
We removed many. Okay, let's go with Carlos. Carlos. Hello. What is the past for sing? Sang. Sing? Sang. Sang. Okay. Yes. Sing, sang. Okay, take a look at that. Okay. We removed two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go with Carla Marcela. What is the past of drink? Drunk. Drink, drank. Drink, drank. Okay, and there you go. Let's continue. Let's see. What are they doing? Mirna. Exercise. Exercise? They. Okay, so last week, they. Exercise. Number two? Yes. Yes, that is correct. Okay, next, let's go with Kenya. Yes. Okay. Wake, drink, or press? Drink. Drink. After running, she. After running, she. Drank water. Dr drank water. Drank. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Iris Palacios. Hola. <laughs> Hello. Drink, give, or hear? Hear. Here. Today he. Earlier today he. He heard, heard, heard. Uh, primero? Heard. First one? Are you sure? No, no estoy segura. Okay. Help, 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 help. Hard. Three. Hard. Third. The third one. Third. Heard. Okay. Listen, heard. Okay. Let's go. Great. Um, Ulises, Ulises, I have you there. Exercise, wake, or charge? Charge. Charge. Yesterday, I... Yesterday, I charge, I charged, or I charge my cell phone. Second charge. Second one. Yes, it is a regular bird. You add ED. I charged my phone. I charged my phone. Very good. Let's go with Mirna Lopez. Yes. I, Here? Sing. 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 Very good. Like Night the movie. She. Last night she sang. Sang. Sang? sang? sang. Yes. A song. She sang a song. Very good. Danny Sandoval. Danny, wake, give, or charge? Wake. Wake, excellent. Okay, before six, she walk, waked, walked. Walked. Walked? <laughs> what do you think, Ariel? Wake. Wake. Walk. Walk. Yeah. Oh. Woke up is a regular. That's an irregular verb. Emperatriz. Emperatriz, hello. Uh oh. Okay, Oscar. Oscar Castillo. Give. Give. Yesterday he. Okay, yesterday he grieved, gave, gave her a gift. Give. Gave. Gave. Yes, it is irregular, guys. So gave, gave her a gift. Gave her a gift. Very good. Emperatriz, are you with us? Hello. Friends. No, she slept. She slept. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Who else? Let me see. Gloria. Here, drink Hello. or press? Press, teacher. Press. This morning I. Okay. Press. This morning I pressed. Okay, pressed. pressed. Listen, yes. pressed. 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 Oh, listen. A button. A button. I pressed the button. So, okay, remembering, can we structure? Who, who can give me the answer? Give me the answer. They. They. Mm -mm. Exercise. No. Week. Last week, they exercise. Last week. How do we do this? 
Okay, it's not taking it. Last week they exercised. It's not taking it. Oh, I got it. Last week they exercised. Okay, next. After running, she drank water. She drank water. Yes, very good. Maria, okay, Kenya, Ulises, come on. Danny. He hear a noise. Oh, very good, Karen. He heard a noise. He heard a noise, Jose. Uh, yesterday, my phone charger. Mm. Where's the eye? I charged my phone. Yesterday, I charged my phone. I charged my phone. Very good. Mirna. Yes. Mm -hmm. What's this sentence? <clears throat> Uh huh? Sang a song. Excellent. She sang a song. She sang a song. She sang a song. Very good. Next, somebody, anybody? Okay, she. She woke up. Woke up. Oh, oh, we missed it. Okay, that was not the right structure. Yesterday. He gave a gift her. Gave her a gift. A gift. Gave her. Le dio a ella. Uh -huh. Gave her a gift. This morning. I pressed a button. I pressed a button. A button. Button. A button. Very good, guys. And so on. We could continue practicing and practicing, you know, so we can uh, all be on the same page. Really quick, uh, the past for feel. Felt. 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 Okay. Correct. The past for put. 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 Easy. What is the past for shake? Shook. 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 Very good. Turn. 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 Okay, listen. Turned. 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 Okay. Turned. Paint. Painted. 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 Okay. Collapse. Painted. I mean, hog. 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 Listen. Hogged. Hog. 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 Okay. So, yeah, that's the way you do it. Okay. Hog. Shake the shook. Paint is painted. August hot. Okay, collapsed, collapsed. So, very good, guys. I will send you the link. I'm sending you the link right now to this website. You have a lot of games, a lot of uh, different exercises. We will be using this platform as well. So we can play to get structure, okay? Did you, did you like it? Yes. I yes. It. yes. <laughs> I That's good. Very much. It's good to play games. It's good to play games to learn. Okay, let's move on. So now we're gonna talk about the next part on your platform, which is the ex the exercise, the exam. Okay, we have a knowledge check. Okay, we have a knowledge check, so Let's go one by one. I need a volunteer. I need a volunteer. Me? Me. Janita. Janita. Okay, Janita. <laughs> What's the first answer? Did you stay home on Saturday? The first. No, the third option. The third option. <clears throat> no, me sale. I'm sorry. No, I'm bad. Okay, good. The so, third option. <laughs> it's the third. Okay, the listen. Third option. Very good. Third. Three. Third. Everybody, Z E R D. Z E R D. Third. Third, third. option. 
Okay. Yeah. Did you stay? Remember, if you have an auxiliary, the verb goes back to the base form. If the auxiliary is present, the verb goes back to the yeah. base form. Okay, yeah. number two. No. So what was the question? Did you stay home on Saturday? No. Huh? Somebody? The first one. The first one. The first one? No. I didn't call my friend. We drove no. to a cafe yeah. for lunch. For lunch. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, they're all negative, right? They're mm. all negative. I didn't call. We drove. Okay. Let's see. What's number three? Three of them. Three of them. Third, third, third. Third. Good, Karen. How did you spend? What is the past? What is the past for spend? Spent. Spent. Okay. No lleva una e antes. So spent. Spent. Oh, spend. Spend. Spent. Okay. Good. Yeah, that's the right answer. And the last one. I mean, we're missing. Four, three. Let's see. Uh, next one, Jose. I don't see nothing. You see nothing. I see nothing. Re Jose, repeat. I see nothing. I see nothing. I see nothing. Okay. What about now? The second option. Uh, not at all, but. Uh, I try uh, hard enjoy. Okay, so this one? Or, no, no that one? The second Two. teacher, the Two. second. Second one, let's see. Second. I had a party, everyone enjoyed, oh, yeah. enjoyed it, okay? But the neighbors didn't like the noise. Yeah, the neighbors didn't like the noise. Yeah, that will be the right answer. Let's go with number five. Somebody else that didn't participate? Somebody else that didn't participate? Yeah. Me, teacher. Thank you, Iris. Yes, uh, first option. First, first option. First, first. What do you do last night? What do you do last night? What do you do last night? Yeah, that's the right answer. What do you do last night? I like that question. Okay. Thank you, Iris. Someone else? The third option. Janita, third option? Yes. Okay. I went to the new Jim Carrey film. I went to the new Jim Carrey film. I loved it. I loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Okay. Very good. Number seven. Somebody else? How many are they? Ten? Okay. Number seven. The second one. Who's talking? Kenya. Kenya. Hi, Kenya. Okay. Seven. The second one. Okay. Did you do anything special over the weekend? Did you do anything special over the weekend? Great job. Okay. Mirna is so quiet today. Where's Mirna? And Carla Marsala too. Mirnita, number eight. Uh, first, 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 first one. Yes, I did. I, I went shopping. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I spent all my money now i am broke uh, i agree i agree with that okay ulises number nine do you think two second okay. this one do you think second one the second, second one. one yeah remember the auxiliary the verb goes in base form so, did you sing at the party? Did you sing at the party? Very good. 
And the last one. The first the option, first. I didn't. The first. Maria, very good, the first option. No, I didn't, I was sick. Let's see, let's see. Yes, great job, guys, good job. Very good. Okay, that was very simple, so now, we have a next topic and then we have an exercise, but, okay, let me see, yeah. I think we're gonna leave it there. Do you have any questions, guys? Any questions? No? Okay. Today, I'll give you another tool. Another tool. T-O-O-L. Okay, so we have this website called Juglish. Can you see this? Yeah? Okay, pueden ver esto? Okay, it's a Juglish. So, voy a pasar español super rápido. Esta es una herramienta que te va a permitir superar um, la pronunciación, pero solo funciona con una palabra a la vez. No puedes meter, tal vez sí, pero no, nunca lo he hecho de esa manera. Eso solo funciona con una palabra a la vez. So, uh, por ahí veíamos una palabrita. Veíamos una palabra. Un un algo larga y... Um, unfortunately. Exactly, yeah, unfortunately. Entonces, abro la página, juglish.com. ¿Lo ven todos? Acá estamos. ¿Ya? Yeah? Yeah. Bien, número uno, yo puedo poner... La palabra que es fortunately. Larga, ¿eh? Una palabra larga, complicada. So, pongo la palabra y elijo el acento que quiero. Una pregunta, ¿elegimos acento australiano? ¿Qué tal de United, United Kingdom? No. Ah, what about US? United States. Y luego digo, say it. Luego digo, say it. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? ¿Escucharon? A ver. Eh, good. Con esta herramienta yo voy a poder introducir una palabra que nunca he escuchado en mi vida o que tengo dudas de cómo se pronuncia. Esta es una. Luego veremos una más compleja aún. Aparte de importantly, tenemos otra. Eh, entonces, esta herramienta me va a buscar videos con sus subtítulos súper rápido. Ok. Es súper rápido, ¿eh? Entonces, yo tengo que poner atención. Si soy inteligente, pues me voy a valer de mi conocimiento. Puedo cambiar la velocidad de reproducción como en cualquier otra página de YouTube. ¿Sí? Y puedo darle de nuevo, reproducir. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, digamos que no le entendí a ella o no me gustó cómo lo pronunció. Me voy al siguiente video. Unfortunately, escucho y repito, ¿ok? Veamos, aún sigue con el setting de 0.75 la velocidad. ¿Sí? Yo puedo incluso bajarla más. ¿Sí? ¿Oyeron? Unfortunately. Ok. Y así vas. Son un montón. De hecho, encontró 24,428. Ok. Está demasiado lento. Vamos a ver. Thought about from a pragmatic standpoint. I said, unfortunately, they're going to be people. Unfortunately, oyeron? Unfortunately, unfortunately, y voy al siguiente video. Cuántas veces yo quiera, cuántos videos yo quiera. Unfortunately, our response. Eso está más claro. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, our response. So I can go word by word. ¿Por qué necesito esto ahorita? Porque los los verbos en pasado su pronunciación de los verbos eh, regulares puede ser difícil. Ya vamos a ver más de uno. La siguiente palabra, que, uh, por cierto, María, ¿qué quiere decir unfortunately? 
Desafortunadamente. Ok, ¿y qué tal? Com comfortable. 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 Quiero... Perfecto, Mario. Oh my God. Perfect <laughs> pronunciation. Muy bien, María. Ok. Muchos dicen que es comfortable. Comfortable. Y que haces una cosa. No, es exactamente como lo dijo María. Comfortable. Let's listen. Bringing. Because I always felt completely comfortable designing my comfortable. life. Comfortable. Comfortable. El, life. And, and it's not it's not a genuine or or comfortable or comfortable se puede de las dos maneras so I think it's time for us to be comfortable with comfortable uncom ahí vas you go ahead and sit back in your comfortable chair comfortable chair comfortable chair ok y la última vamos a ver un verbo en pasado sencillo eh Verbo regular en pasado. Okay. This guy came in and worked. He was the first one there. No se escuchó muy bien. Buscó otro. Moving to the country they had worked so damn hard to get out of. They had worked. Moving to the country they had worked so damn hard. Did you hear? Worked. Worked. Yeah. Worked. His name was Polly. And we worked together many times. And we... We worked together. We worked together. It's worked in some places. What are the lessons we can... Okay, Hillary Clinton. Very good. Worked in some places. Bien, le voy a enviar el link de este reproductor. Es bien fácil. Solo es juglish.com. Juglish.com. Este punto es importante que ustedes sepan uh, pronunciar los CD endings. Que ustedes puedan pronunciar los CD endings. De hecho, lo pueden buscar las reglas de pronunciación de ED endings. Y recomendación. Bueno, veamos súper rápido. Puedo buscar cualquier imagen. Hoy, gracias a Dios, la tecnología. So, let's see. Um, como regla general, si un verbo termina en sonido t, en sonido t, o en sonido l, de por sí, esta es la tercera regla. Okay? Si él termina con ese sonido t o sonido d, o d. En estos casos, al agregar la ed, la pronunciación sería wanted. Sería esto que está acá, la id. Wanted. Needed. 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 Si el verbo termina en los sonidos... Ojo con esto, eh, que esto es fonética, pero sirve de mucho. El verbo termina en el sonido... Termina en cualquiera de esos sonidos, por ejemplo, help, digo, helped, helped, looked, sniffed, laughed, wow, sorry, <laughs> washed, washed, watched, watched, kissed, kissed, danced, danced. Fixed. Fixed. ¿Ok? Si el verbo termina en cualquiera de estos sonidos consonantes como oh, mm, rrr, Teacher. ¿Sí? Dani. When I we make when we make the sound fixed with fixed what which the difference Five. Um, five. Um, the number five. five. The number five. El número yes. cinco. And, five. And the exercise fixed. Mm -hmm. mm, creo que me perdí con tu pregunta, Dani, perdón. Eh, ¿Por qué mm -hmm. si se escribe en, con la misma y no se pronuncia igual? Ah, es una regla general de pronunciación, Dani, y funciona, ¿sí? Eh, la otra manera es identificando la vibración en tu aparato, que es la segunda opción que le voy a dar. 
Este cuadro aplica... Ajá, sonidos voiceless o voiced sounds. Voiced sounds o voiceless sounds. Eh, que es lo que explica acá también. Voiced sounds uses the vocal cords and they produce a vibration. So, esa es otra forma. Tú te pones las manos de esta manera en tu garganta, ¿sí? Si no hay, si no hay eh, vibración al finalizar un verbo, por ejemplo, help, miss, extrañar, miss, fix, no hay vibración. Por ende, si el verbo no tiene vibración al final en su forma base, al agregar ed, voy a hacer el sonido. T. Por eso es importante saber la pronunciación final de cada verbo. Si hay vibración, que es la tercera regla que tú tienes en la pantalla a la derecha, si hay vibración, por ejemplo, co, co, hay vibración. Espero que estén haciendo esto en su casa. ¿eh? Clean, offer, damage, damage. Love, y este es un claro ejemplo, la, los verbos que terminan en V-E, la E es muda y termina con una vibración. Love, dr, eh, vamos a ver, use, amaze, rub, climb, siempre hay vibración, hasta te van a picar los cachetes. Si hay vibración, entonces suena mm, cold, cleaned, offered. Love. Ahorita les da risa, yo sé, pero ahorita tienen que exagerar la articulación, ¿sí? Poco a poco, esto de la práctica exagerando te va a ayudar a posicionar tu boca, tu lengua, tus labios, tus dientes, de la manera apropiada para poder pronunciar. ¿Got it? Um, solo quería saber por qué <risa> los fi ¿Por qué los? Los fi, o sea, hay, hay una diferencia. Porque en... cuando decimos fi... Oh, pero eso no sale... Fi, no es... ¿cómo? Bueno, creo que hmm. comprenderá ese punto. No. Oh, oh, lo que pasa es que tenés que enfocarte en verbos. Dani, ahí me estoy perdiendo. Eh, five no sería un verbo. No, five es, es, es un número. Ajá. Pero... Empieza con F-I y es FI, no FI. Ah, porque suena fa, FIVE ajá, y no FIXED. Ajá. Es simple fonética, Dani. Ahí sí. Mm, no se me viene a la mente otro verbo que empiece con F-I. Porque está FIRE también, si te entiendo. FIRE, FIVE. Eh, physiology, physics. Pero fire, eso con PH. Fire. Fire, sí. No, no recuerdo ningún verbo que otro verbo que empiece con FI en este momento, Dani. Ok, pero okay. Lo, lo tomaré en cuenta, ok. Ok, guys, eh, revisen este video, va a estar en YouTube para que ustedes puedan practicar los idiomas también en la pronunciación. Ok, igual, no se preocupen, eso lo vamos a estar practicando mucho. Me pueden eh, escribir también al WhatsApp. Sorry si no me tardo un poco en, en contestarles, ok. Okay, teacher. Bye. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye. Good night. Bye.